The Queen, 96, has been handing over further responsibilities to Prince Charles in recent months. Royal biographer Angela Levin has suggested the monarch should look at making him regent where he takes over all her royal duties. Speaking to Sky News, Ms. Levin said, H is not Prince Regent. I personally think after the Jubilee there ought to be a big discussion to perhaps make him Prince Regent. That means he would do all the duties, all the things that are demanded of the monarch but not be the monarch. He won't have the coronation but he will be doing everything for her with her agreement. I think she feels very happy about him now. Some years ago she wouldn't but she didn't trust him with everything. H is a much happier, much more solid man, more popular with the public and I think she would be very pleased and relieved. Over this past year, HES done a tremendous amount of extra work and HES a workaholic anyway. H has always been there, HES always seen her privately a lot. H has done his very best because he wants to please. However, a royal journalist has insisted the Queen will not abdicate the throne. Robert Hardman told BBC Newsnight, I think abdication, the a word, is just not on. There was an outbreak of what I call abdication-itis across Europe in 2013 and 2014. That was when you had the King of Belgium, then the King of Spain, the Queen of Holland, the Emir of Qatar, and finally the Pope all chucked it in. The last remaining emperor in Japan did the same and everyone thought the Queen might follow suit. But it is absolutely not going to happen in her case because her coronation was very much a religious affair. She made an oath. She made that very famous speech on her 21st birthday. She made an oath before God and her people. That was on her coronation day and to the best of her abilities, she will stick with it. There's obviously parliamentary legislation. There's the Regency Acts of 1937 and 1953 that provide a mechanism for changing her but we're not in that territory at all.